I'm Elliot Moran. We're here in Buttonwillow, California at the 2009 Super Lap Battle Finals. This event we started doing with Sport Compact Car and Super Street Magazine in 2004. Um, it's really closely tied to uh, the Time Attack events they do in Japan. That's uh, common for the tuners over there where they're just competing for the single fastest lap time. Um, our event, we have three classes, uh, starting off with a street class, um, a limited and then unlimited, and each class is broken by drivetrain. So we have front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and all wheel drive. Hey, it's Carter Jung from Import Tuner Magazine, and we're at lovely Button Willow Raceway in Button Willow, California. Um, we're standing by Joey Lay's uh, Evo 9. So the, so the event was yesterday, uh, went off pretty dramatically compared to previous years. We had uh, two of the STIs catch fire, uh, one of them uh, being Scott Sunishi, uh, Import Tuner's uh, senior editor, um, kind of caught it on flames, uh, and another one. Uh, I think one of the third STIs actually went up on flames today. But uh, overall, beyond that, the event was pretty cool. Um, the Evos won it again. Um, we did a time attack portion where each car went out and we took their best individual lap time. And uh, the fastest car was this car, actually. My name is Dr. Russ Moore, and I'm the driver of the Evo 9 that um, won the STI Evo shootout. Um, we recently just picked up Nitto as a sponsor as well as KW and um, fortunately for us the car picked up probably a good second and a half, two seconds from the previous setup that we had before. I'm Billy Johnson, the driver of the FX Motorsports Development Acura NSX, and we're here at the Super Lap Battle Finals. So for this weekend, uh, unlike the Redline Time Attack, which we are enabled to use uh, racing slicks, we're using our Yokohama A048 uh, street tires at this event. Uh, that's by far the biggest change this weekend. Uh, we also have our new brakes from Performance Friction, much bigger, Ford's monoblock, really trick, uh, ALMS technology and that was a, a huge improvement over our old setup uh, and really helped getting a lot more time out of the car. Um, other than that, uh, we had a pretty tough start of the day. Uh, the car arrived late, we missed all of our practice sessions. Uh, we had to align the car and we missed half of the second run itself and just had a couple laps to just lay down a lap and it put us in a decent position. Uh, right now we're in the lead and uh, we will see uh, where that ends us uh, up at the end of the day, but uh, definitely switching from our bread and butter uh, racing slick setup. We didn't change anything. We just put on these little skinny street tires and went out there and uh, they proved uh, to work out pretty well. And uh, we'll see how the rest of the day turns out. It's Ed Bergenholtz with Bergenholtz Racing and I'm sitting on the Bergenholtz Racing Mazda RX-8. Um, traditionally, uh, I mean, we're here at Time Attack for a super lap battle and we kind of wanted to make a presence and show you know the diversity of our program but the car actually is a full-blown you know championship caliber drift car driven by Justin Pollock and uh, you know we had to make a few changes we had to change the shoes of course we, we put some NT01 rubber on there and uh, change the rims we had to go ahead and change the steering because um, with, with the drifting setup, you have to go in with a lot of steering angle. And we're getting like over 60 degrees of steering angle. And, uh, you know, obviously there's Ackerman changes and stuff like that. So we actually have uh, Ron, Ron Bergen, my brother, uh, modified the hubs and arms so that we were able to change the mount point for the steering. So we did that and we had to change, we had to change uh, the KW spring rates. We had to change uh, the, the camber toe settings. Um, but other than that, I mean, the car is so well made and, and so well thought that, uh, you know, you don't really have to change too much. I mean, we put the wing on the car and personally me and Ron like it better because it actually looks like a race car now. It doesn't look so much as a street car. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I mean, uh, I'm just driving around having fun. I'm not looking to set the world on fire. But again, we just want to show the diversity of Bergenholtz Racing and show what, you know, Mazda, Nitto, and our KW stuff can do. Um, again, people probably know me for driving in a straight line, but this time I'm making left and right turns.